lecture 41 multiple integral in that lecture you understand the concept of change of order of integration now the change of order of integration so in multiple integration order of integration play an important role so if the integration limit of integration is constant then the order of integration has no matter but if the limit of integration is variable a change in order of integration necessarily change in the limit of so to understand this concept two things kept in your mind the first if the limit of x are constant and the limit of y are function of x then the order of integration is what we write dx dy what mean means first we take the integration with respect to y then x that is uh, or we can uh, say we take a strip parallel to the y axis similarly if the limit of y is constant and the limit of x are a function of y then the order of integration is what dx dy means first we take the integration with respect to x then y so to more clarify we take an example example change the order of integration here we have given integration 0 to 1 x squared 2 minus x xy dx dy and hence evaluate the same here according to the uh, given according to the given limit in that example the region of integration shown by the portion is what here the limit of y is in form of x and the limit of x is constant it means according to the problem first we take the integration with respect to y that is dy then dx so here according to the problem they are taking the strip parallel to the y axis that's why y is vary from x square up to 2 minus x so if uh, but we have to change the order of integration then it evaluate the same so on changing the order of integration what will happen the is now we are we want to take the strip like this now we take a strip parallel to the x-axis so that's the x-axis so in that case that isn't the same but here you notice that now that region is divided into two portions that is we get a two parts we can say o let's say o point o b c and a b c that's a b c the triangle why we are dividing that portion because that's in triangle but when we are taking the strip and parallel to the x-axis that's a curve that's why we are taking the two different portions so the in that integration is divided into two portions 0 to 1 or we can say x y t x t y is equal to integration o p c x y t x t y and plus a double integral a b c x y t x t y now we check the limit so in that case when we take the region o b c so we can say x varies 0 to now we write the uh, limit of the x in the terms of y so we can say x varies 0 to root y and y varies 0 to 1 we write x y dx dy because we change the order of integration means first we take the integration with respect to x then y similarly for the second reason that is abc so what's the limit of x now x varies 0 to 2 minus y 0 to 2 minus y because we change the order so we take the limit of x in terms of y and y varies here y is 1 1 to 2 x y dx dy now evaluating the limits we get 0 to 1 
and on integration when we take the integration with respect to x treating y as a constant so we write y x square by 2 0 to root y dy and similarly for that 1 to 2 x square by 2 the limit says 0 to 2 minus y dy so apply the limit and simplify you get 1 by 2 that's a constant 0 to 1 you get y square dy plus 1 by 2 1 to 2 we get y and we apply 2 minus y whole square dy now take the integration of y square that is y cube by 3 limit 0 to 1 plus 1 by 2 integration 1 to 2 we get 4y plus y cube minus 4y square dy then 1 by 2 we get 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 I'm directly, directly write the integration of that which is 2y square minus 4y cube by 3 plus y 4 by 4 so limit 1 to 2 and when you simplify that after applying the limit we get 3 by 8 so if you change the order of integration so you have to remember the limit of integration is also changed means if you are taking the integration first with respect to dy then dx it means you are taking a strip parallel to y axis and y varies it means the limit of y in the terms of x and the limit of x is constant and if you change the order means first you are taking the integration with respect to x it means you change the order of integration in that case so the x varies means x the limit of x in the terms of what y and the limit of y is constant but you are in the both case the value of the integration is same so why we are using the change of order of integration because due to the complexity of the integration sometimes the change of order of integration is helpful more example change the order of integration so we have given the integration 0 to 1 and the uh, integration for x to e is power 1 1 upon log y dy dx so here you have to evaluate first you have to change the order of integration and then evaluate so according to given limit here what we have given the according to the given limit so the limit of y y varies e raised to power x up to e and x varies 0 to 1 what it mean means here they are taking the strip along the parallel to the y axis that's why y vary e raised to power x to y equal to e and x varies 0 to 1 so here you can easily see the curve of y e raised to power x and y equal to e is in constant so the intersecting point that is 1 of e so now because we have to change the order of integration here so now on changing on changing the order of integration that is now we take the limit of x in terms of y so when we change the order of integration means we change the strip now we take a strip parallel to the x-axis so we can say x varies 0 to that point that is so now what is x here y is equal to e raised to power x so we write x is equal to log y so we can say x varies on changing the order of integration x varies 0 to log y and y varies now the y it varies from so 
if you put x equal to 0 in that e raised to power x so we get y is equal to 1 so we say that's a y is equal to 1 so we can say y varies 1 to 1 to sorry 0 to 1 so y varies here 1 to e now apply the limit so the integration become for that we write integration first we write the limit of x that is 0 to log y then we write the limit of y that is 1 to e and the integrand that is log y first with respect to x then y now taking the integration with respect to x we write 0 1 to e because we are taking the integration with respect to x first so taking y as a constant so we write 1 upon log y integration x by the limit 0 to log y dy so here when you apply the limit 1 to e 1 upon log y log y minus 0 dy so we get 1 to e 1 dy and get the integration 1 to e that is e minus 1 so on evaluating that integral we obtain the result e minus 1 e is here exponential so in that way if you change the order of integration so you can easily evaluate the integration only remember why we are using the change of order of integration because sometimes it is helpful because sometimes it reduces the complexity of the integration